Well, in just seven weeks, this is going to be our room. Oh. Our bed. Oh. Our chair. Oh. Our lamp. Oh. And my closet. <laughs> And who says size isn't important in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is what I picked out for Maxwell to wear to my high school reunion <sighs> party. It's like having a great big Ken doll. Uh -huh. <laughs> Only mine is anatomically correct, please God. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is the first time you got a reason to go to your reunion. You should be more concerned with what you're gonna wear. <laughs> You know, I just thought I'd wear a simple, drop-dead gorgeous fiancé and accessorize it with this. <laughs> you know, I can't wait to see Naomi Dembo's face when you walk in. Oh, she was so mean to us in high school. She yes. told everyone that we were lesbian lovers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know it backfired on her, huh? because we were never so popular with the boys. <laughs> anyone who doesn't belong in here. I bet you weren't expecting three gorgeous gals in your bed. Yeah. Now, don't go getting any ideas. Yes, well, I think this has sufficiently put that fantasy to rest, Sylvia. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I just wanted to show the girls what you're wearing to my high school reunion Saturday night. Uh, Saturday night? I, I thought you said it was next Saturday. Well, it, it was next Saturday when I told you about it last Saturday. Ah, well, uh, this Saturday, I, I have to fly to Washington to talk at the National Endowment for the Arts. Oh, no, you have to come. The last two reunions, I carried a man's coat and said my fiancé was in the bathroom. I don't think that they'll go for it a third time. <laughs> what do you want me to do, cancel on the President of the United States? Well, he's been known to put pleasure before business. Why can't you? <laughs> She was walking in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny. So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door, she was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more. She had style, she had flair. She was there. That's how she became the nanny. Who would have guessed that the girl we described was just exactly what the doctor prescribed? Now the father finds her beguiling. Watch out, CC. Smiling, such She's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan. The flashy girl from Flushing, the nanny named Fran. <laughs> oh, wow, I cannot believe how our entire graduating class has aged. Everybody looks so old. Yeah. You want to sign the guest book? Oh, no. I'll tell you, my joints are all stiff from the dampness. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's hit the buffet and yeah, see good. where they go. All right. You know what? Let's load up on the finger food, because I want it to look really organic when I flash my new ring onto Naomi Dembo's new nose. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you pass me a quiche? your fiance. <laughs> hey, no. nice, to, nice to see you again, buddy. Oh, oh, no, Ray. Fran's not making up ridiculous excuses anymore. Her fiance had to go to Washington to talk to the president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, Raymond, in high school, I had such a crush on you. Yeah. <laughs> well, who didn't? Everybody loved Raymond. <laughs> you know, Ray, I understand congratulations are in order. I read in the newsletter that you just had twins. That oh. must be fabulous. Yeah, yeah I have a five-year-old and twin two-year-old boys. Wow. So you, you know what? I don't care how this reunion goes. I'm just happy to be out of the house. <laughs> 